the second largest IPO in U.S. history is in the books, priced yesterday. Today, it starts trading. You too can have a piece of the Facebook.com. Maybe you've heard of it. You're looking at a chart here. This is coming to us from NASDAQ of the trading. I don't believe we've actually gotten a, a, a stock trade yet. We're expecting it at 11 a.m. trading in Facebook shares. Highly anticipated today. Morning, everyone. Welcome to the Markets Hub. I'm Paul Vigna, joined by Ralph Winkler for this, I don't want to say historic day. I really don't. I mean, it's a big IPO. I get that. I don't want to say historic, but it is a big day for the market. Hopefully the people at home aren't sick of talking about this. Right. Or hearing about it. Yeah. But it is a big day for the market, right? It is. It's and huge. And priced at 38, we expect it to open up. You can see from that chart, it's going to open up somewhere over 40. And let's, if that was, it was $43 on there, I think, and that works out to $117 billion. Valuation, market capitalization. That's amazing. I they mean, have some cash. They'll, they're, they're raising $10 billion of cash. They'll, they'll have $10 billion of cash right. on the balance sheet, I, I should say, after this. So they'll, that brings down the valuation a little bit, but it's still uh, Look, this is my first sizable. question. This is my first question for you. Did they get the IPO pricing right? Sure. I mean, the demand says sure, that they because did. They have did to, they get it they right? Had to, they have to sell a lot of shares. Mm -hmm. They had to sell a lot of shares to institutional investors to, 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 to get this thing done. Right. And to get these guys at, at a price this high, you got to promise them something on the first day. Yeah. You know, you got you, you, that, that, that's you know, you, you got to give them a reason to buy it there. Right. Now we know in the private market. And so the underwriters want to engineer that pop. In the private market, it was trading above forty, right? I think uh, it had got it had right. gotten above there. Yeah, there were some there were some trades that had gotten above that. Right. So um, now you see it coming out. We expect it over forty. Still, I don't see a trade there. I see IPO cross. I don't see the actual trades yet. When this thing does start trading, this is going to be frenetic, right? It's going to be big volume. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to buy it to flip it. Uh, but, you know, underwriters, they, they, what they're trying to do, they're trying to get investors that do want to hold it. They want this thing to pop but be stable. Yeah. That, that, that's part of the idea. If you get a, if you, this is in the 40s, say it, uh, you know, say it trades in the 40s, is that a big, is that as big a pop as they expected? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's hard to say. You can't really compare it to other IPOs because they were much smaller. I mean, yeah. Remember a year ago now, LinkedIn went public, and the, the first indication was twenty-five dollars, and then they raised it to thirty-five mm -hmm. ahead of it, and then it actually priced it forty-five, and then it opened at ninety-three, right? But it was a tiny amount of shares, uh, or, or a small amount of shares in a much smaller company. So right. the supply-demand efficiency, if you will, wasn't there. And yeah. this, this is, of course, they're moving sixteen billion dollars of stock. It's it's a much 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 larger bigger right. chunk of so stock. So they raised 18 billion. They raised, with the over allotment, they raised 18.4 billion. You're saying that the 18.4. Okay. Uh, we expect the company is going to be. I think you see Mark Zuckerberg ringing the opening bell remotely. Interestingly enough, right? They brought, they in brought the Nasdaq to him. They brought the Nasdaq to him. 123 billion market cap, somewhere that is, around that. That guy yelling right there, right behind Bob Greifel. I went to high school with him. You're kidding. Great guy. Who was it? His name's Chris Cox. He's the VP of product. Super nice guy. You, you got it. Yeah, he was. He was in the road show. He was yeah. in the road show along with Zuckerberg. He was in Sandberg. Question. At 123 market cap billion or somewhere around that, is Facebook overvalued? I think so. Yeah. Here it is. I mean, ultimately, the best you can hope for this, for me, I mean, they've got to get a lot of things right, and maybe one day it'll be worth 200 billion. I, I should say, it, it, you know, the intrinsic value. I mean, look, mm -hmm. it, it, things are worth what people are willing to pay for them, but. Again, this thing earned a, th a, a, mil uh, a billion dollars well, last, last year. year. Let's assume they grow earnings at the same rate they did in 2011, 65% through 2013. Same average annual rate. Put that at, you know, that would give them about $2.7 billion of net income. Mm -hmm. And if we're talking about, you know, $45 open, $46 open, that means we're trading at, I, I mean, I don't know. Let's do the math here quick. <laughs> 127 divided Scott by Rhodes calculated one. with us to do the math on this one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's good for people to see, though, right? Because yeah, no, this is what I want to know. What, is the, what kind of a P.E. are we looking at? What kind of a valuation That would put it at, at nearly 50 times earnings. 50 times earnings. Yeah, ne 50 nearly, times 50 earnings. If, yeah ne ne nearly 50 times 2013 earnings. Right. Now, and, of course, we're assuming things go well for the company over, two, over the next two years. Even if they go well, right? I mean, look, a 35% growth rate in earnings would be good. I 65. Mean, 60, no, no, I know yeah. you're saying. I'm oh, saying okay. even if it went down to 35, yeah, that's relatively good, but that's not... Going to support They've that got a valuation. Big let's let's. I, I'm I'm definitely bullish on the prospects for Facebook's business. They do have some great levers to pull. For instance, look at Google. They've got this. So you've got search ads on Google.com, mm -hmm. but they've built this huge business with ads off of their site. Right? Google tracks 
your browsing habits. Um, it knows, well, thinks everybody in the Wall <laughs> Street Journal is over scary, 65 right? and male, because that's what we browse. But the point is, with that information, they can target ads on other websites right. more efficiently than some other companies could. So other websites basically outsource their advertising to Google. Now, Facebook has even better information about who you are and what you mm -hmm. like. So theoretically, they could target ads even better. So they have an opportunity to build an ad network of their own that could generate a lot of right. money. That's that's just one thing. That's one good thing. Now, one issue for them, of course, One, they is, got many. Well, all right, I want to talk about one. Let's talk about mobile for a second, right? I mean, and actually, I want to play a clip. Can we play that clip from uh, Zuckerberg that we have? All right, we can't play. He's talking about the future, the next five years, because that's what we're talking about, the next five years. I mean. The, you know, the big deal is mobile. The big deal is apps. Facebook is not that strong there right now, right? I mean, they're, they're, there's a limitation it's hard to, say. to their it's, ads. It's, it's hard to say. They do have nearly 500 million, they claim 500 million monthly active users on mobile devices, mm -hmm. which makes them huge in mobile. But it kind of belies the fact that they haven't done as well as they otherwise could have. For instance, the iPad app didn't come out for 18 months after the iPad was actually released. Yeah. The smartphone app isn't great. So and and maybe more and to the point, the they don't control. On those they apps. don't control their mobile destiny. Yes, I mean this. This is the problem right now for them is that as people stop using their desktop right. and they start using the the, the, the phone more mm -hmm, often mm -hmm. to check, you're not seeing as many ads there. Right.